Hello people, my name is Key, and I am here to record a video to help you guys set up Open Cage. I'm a League Assistant in the Cage Show Mando Discord, so I have mild credentials, and I have a very mild position of authority, so hopefully that'll assuage your faith in the fact that I am not some random hobo in the Discord, and I have people who know what they are doing behind me, or who can at least affirm that I am giving a vaguely correct guide. It was brought to my attention that my original guide for open cage setup, uh, well, two things actually. My original guide was lacking a few details, such as how to set up an open cage seed, and then my also apparently the language packs I was using is are out of date. So it's like I figured I'd get on fixing that, and I figured I'd make a video while I'm fixing it, so y'all can follow along. Just set up the guide, set up by following this guide, and not have too many issues. So the two things you're going to want to have before we start are a setup PCSX2. I'm using a discontinued version. Don't worry about it. You just need regular PCSX2. Uh, 1.6.0, I believe, is the version you, that is preferred. So make sure you grab that. Uh, set it up to your heart's content, yada yada. You're also going to want an original Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix Japanese ISO. Don't ask where I got it. Don't ask where other people got it. That is other people's problem. Or that is your problem. Apologies. Uh, uh, if you're having trouble setting up any of the PCSXX2 things, PCSX2 things, go ask in the help channel in the Discord. There are people who are able to help you, and do not spam ping people because that's rude, but they will help you if you ask nicely and get them of it. Uh, now that that's done, you're going to want to go to Xanimo Open Cage. Uh, just copy this link if you have no idea how to get here, because it's not, that hard. It's, it's not hard to get to if you just Google it, but just keep it simple, you know? And you're going to want to go to releases. If you're going from the main page, you just want to go to this corner right here. Releases. I've already downloaded it, by the way. That's why that's just kind of sitting there. But this is the latest version of OpenCage. You're going to want to go to assets and download zip. Uh, no matter when you're watching this guy, you're always going to want this latest version. Barring some very specific issues that a version may have. So unless you're specifically told to do not get the latest version, just grab this latest version. So I grabbed the zip, I've downloaded it. It is currently sitting... Why do I have those open? It's currently sitting somewhere in my... Here it is. It's currently sitting in my public folder, so I'm going to extract it here. And we're going to go, yes. We're going to refresh the folder. It should be up here. Very nice. Okay, so now we're going to scroll down. Open cage .tools .mods manager is what we're looking for. So in that open cage folder we just downloaded and extracted, you're going to want to go to find mods manager.exe. Now, preemptively, before I set this all up, I'm going to actually make a shortcut. And I'm actually going to drag this on my desktop real quick. I didn't mean to run it, but you know, whatever, whatever you got to do. So I just made a quick shortcut and drag it to my desktop because I actually use this quite a bit, believe it or not. So, something you might want to do as well. Alright, so let's get this set up. Welcome to Open Cage Mods Manager. Uh, you're going to want to select PCSX2 Emulator. You'll have noticed that my PCSX2 Emulator was in public. It is in this, I believe. Uh, if you're not using my version of PCSX2 Wix, which most people are probably not, it's just probably in your PCSX2 folder, so don't worry too much about that. Mine's up here, select that. Looks good. The ISO is... I personally keep it right here in this folder, so it's organized. Uh, I've already extracted my game data, by the way. So... I actually just moved it somewhere else for the sake of this video. So this data folder. Oh, that's the Extracted Cage 2 info. What I'm actually going to do is... Very slowly and inefficiently drag it down to Open Cage. And drag it in here. And now there's your date extracted data. If you don't have it already extracted, so if you don't already have it extracted, five to fifteen minutes to extract it and it'll make that folder for you. Uh depending on your drive, it'll probably be slower than five or it'll be faster than five or slower than fifteen. I've had people take up to an hour. I've had, I personally took like two, three minutes. So you know, it's variable, but this is roughly correct for most people. Uh, I'm going to start by using Japanese text, and I'll switch to English text later just to show that it works, but Japanese means that circle is confirm and X is back, so circle is attack and X is jump, just so you're all aware. Alright, 
I've configured it. All right, now what? So now what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna walk you through the process of setting up all your stuff, your nonsense. So I've already preemptively opened this. So this is the language pack you're gonna wanna use. So we're gonna, so to install a new language pack, you're gonna wanna look at this GitHub link. So it's Ricky Sonic. And you wanna do a slash to show that the slash is there. Language, hack, and then if there's a dash, you do the dash. You do all that good stuff. And yeah. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Google. We're gonna go to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, GitHub. That didn't work. Okay. All in one KH2FM. Yeah, that's the one to Google. Success, success. So we're gonna want to put that one in. Uh Let's see. Now, so we do the same thing for this all in one. FM mods num slash all in one. I don't know if punctuation matters, but I'm going to assume it does preemptively and not make that mistake after the fact. And you know what? For the sake of hilarity, I'm going to install a random mod just to show that if you know the GitHub link, this is as easy as it is. This is a casual for fun mod that I'll show what it does later. Uh, and then there's the third way to install the mod. So I'm going to go to my downloads. And okay, there it is. So if you have a zip folder that someone specifically made for OpenCage, all you have to do is just find it. There it is. All right. And generally, the priority order is your language pack at the bottom. You're all in one above that, and then whatever various cosmetic mods you have. And then we're going to actually go to a new website, Hero, right here. And this is the OpenKHC generator. Uh, first off, you're going to want to download this, and then I'm actually going to have a quick access. Uh, oh, shoot, I forgot the GOA, but we'll do that in a second. So you're going to want to find your cheats folder for PCSX2. And you're going to want to stick this panache I'm about to download in there. I already have it, as you can see right there, so I'm not going to download it. And then for the other thing, I'm going to actually open up this the Discord. Uh, it's supposed to be regular click. All right, uh, randomizer build for PC, PS2. You're just going to download this. We're going to click that. You're going to click download. And... Same idea, just put in your cheats folder. You see I have them both already, so I'm not going to bother, but it's pretty easy. So make sure you have those at some point. I could have put that at a slightly better time, but now that you've done the panaches and all that good stuff, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go here. I'm just going to pick a completely random seed. There's a bunch of settings and stuff you can modify to your heart's content. I don't care about that particularly. I'm just here to show you how it works. Uh, well, randomized command menus to sh for the fun of it. Generator C for PCSX2. All right, remember that method I was telling you about? You can install mods via zip folders. That's how you do an open KHC. You just select it as a mod. Make sure it's at the very top. So you just want this to be at the top of your list. If you don't know how to move things in a list, it's this button up here and this button up here. So you're going to want the seat at the top, your English back at the bottom, your all one here, and then your various mods here. These are just cosmetics I'm using to show how these are just cosmetics. So they're not relevant. You don't need them. I'm just, these are the three things you need for sure. All right. So now that we've done all that good stuff, we're going to build and run. And we're going to see the moment of truth. Uh, by the way, enable cheats. I should not be enabling Lua Engine. That should be disabled. Uh, just keep that disabled, please. Makes everyone's life better. Easy. So I'm going to turbo because I'm a lazy piece of garbage. Well, this looks... Pretty promising. This looks pretty promising. Alright. Apologies if you can hear that sound, by the way. That, uh... That sound is the life issue of my controller just disconnecting and reconnecting. And, uh, I don't know how to fix that. So, apologies. If you can't hear it, then I sound like a potato. But yeah, welcome. I'm in open cage. Things are randomized. You, uh... The HUD icon is, uh... Definitely something. It's definitely something. 
seed looks randomized, pretty alright. Fixed my studdings a bit. Uh, X is jump, circle is attack. Looks good. Let's go check my other cosmetic mod is working real quick. Well, these cutscenes seem to be doing fine. Nothing is completely broke. Nothing has completely destroyed itself. There is no incredibly inexplicable events happening right now. All seems pretty above board. Alright, we're gonna enter this room. Uh... Shenanah slash dust seems to be working pretty well. I do say something still. Nope, I failed that fight miserably, but I guess I got my point across. This seems to be working perfectly well and randomized. So now, you might be asking, well, wait a minute. I don't want circle to be confirmed and X to be uh, jump and back and what have you. So we're just going to rerun the wizard. Just go literally through all the steps again. If you have... But then I'm going to pick English. Ooh, spooky. Then if I pick English and do build and run... I'm going to turbo through this part just because yeah, you've already seen this. You don't need to have me verify that this is in fact the correct thing that is happening. Alright, so X is now confirmed for me. Uh, you can't see my button presses. If I had like a button mapper or something. You'll notice the tech looks, I think, a slightly bit different. And it's like, I'm not sure why that is personally, but it's like, all I can tell you is that I know that X is now confirmed and Circle is now back. And it's like, if that's your speed, that's your speed. It's just that easy. Alright then. Uh, yeah, that should be everything relevant for setting up Open Cage to uh, play Kingdom Hearts 2 with Final Next Randomizer. Uh, if there's anything I missed in the video, just shoot me a DM. You'll probably see me on the Discord most of the time. I'm happy to answer questions to the best of my ability. I'm not very technical, so it's like those sort of questions are better directed at help or something, but it's like, if you just want some basic setup help, uh, just follow the steps in this guide and you should be pretty okay. Uh, that's it. Uh, hope this helps. And good luck to everyone who's running the randomizer at some point.